What up, what up, Wimboys here. And today I want to show you guys an easy way that you can copy and paste the VDB material in Unreal Engine 5.3. Now, if you've been following my channel the past month, I've been doing a lot of VDB tutorials. And the one thing a lot of people have said is they basically don't want to go through step by step every single time they want to import a VDB and set up that material. And so I've made it simple that you can actually just copy and paste the material in Unreal Engine 5. Let me show you how. So what Unreal Engine 5.3 opened up right now, I'm going to right click down here in my content browser and I'm just going to make a new material and I'm just going to name this one flame because that's the VDB that we're going to be creating. And if I double click on this, now we have our flame material all set up here. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually click on this node right here and on the left hand side, come down here to where it says material domain. I'm going to left click on surface, come down to volume and then blend mode. I'm going to make this additive. Now for this next step, we're just going to go to this website that I have saved out the material. We're going to copy and paste it right into this material node. So I'll make sure to link this down below. Make sure you look in the description or in the pinned comment. But this website, Blueprint UE, this is basically just the file right here. So if I hold down control and just zoom out a little bit, these are all the nodes that we have to make the VDB work inside of Unreal Engine 5.3. So if you scroll further down here, inside of the website you can see copy code so you literally just click on this clipboard and now it saved it to your clipboard so now with unreal engine open back up inside that material i'm just going to hold down control hit v and literally you just pasted all those nodes into this material here so i'm going to drag this over and this is easy it's just connecting this to your flame node so right here where it says default value i'm going to connect this to the albedo this multiply right here I'm going to connect it to emissive material or emissive color. And then down here, we have this multiply. I'm going to left click and bring this over to extension. So you just have to connect these three nodes. And then over here, where it says parameter, if I click on this, come down here to where we have this orange box, you would just literally put your VDB inside of there. So I'm just going to click on my VDB and then hit apply and save. And now we have this saved out down there. So where I have my material, the next step from here is just right click, create material instance. And basically this just allows us to have control over all of our attributes here. So we'll get into this more here in a second, but let's actually add the VDB into our scene here. So I'm going to click on this right here, this little box with the green plus sign, come down here to place actor panel and inside the search, I'm going to type in HET and that's going to bring this up right here for our volume. Just going to put this in the center here. And right here where I made my material instance, actually I could close this out, but I'm gonna take this material instance and drag it right here into the material slot. And now you don't see anything happening, but if you looked at my past tutorials, you know, you just have to click on play, click on looping, and now we have it down here. So where I have that material instance, I'm gonna double click on this again. And let me actually just drag this over here on the right hand side so we can see what's happening here in real time. So I'm just gonna click on the black body parameter temperature multiplier let's bring this up like 6,000. now you can see we have the flame coming in here and then from here you just go through play around with these other attributes like so until you get the desired results so hopefully this made it really simple for you guys to get started with vdbs if you want to see exactly how to set this up from scratch make sure you look at my other tutorials i show you how to set this up from scratch how to use this with the path tracer and how to render this out if you want to use it in a sequencer so if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe leave me a comment down below let me know if this definitely helped you out so you can work faster in unreal and until next time stay fresh keep creating and i'll catch you in the next video i'll see you soon take care